Yo, literally, it's 1.06 in the morning right now. And it's like something just, something just came to me. People out there not being confident enough, having low self-esteem. What is that? Wait, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Guys, where's my manners? Let's try this one more time, right? Hey, it's your don't know. It's your boy, it's your don't know. Hey, it's your boy, it's your don't know. Wow, let's not break the mic. Okay, yo, guys, so check it. Literally, I got up one o'clock in the morning. I washed my hair. Like, yeah, my little baby locks, guys. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know. So I washed my locks, you see me? And then I was thinking to myself, you know people out there not being, why am I so wet? Like literally, people are out there not being confident enough, you see me? And that, that worries me. Cause I'm like, yo, you can't be in these streets having low self-esteem on them things. No, that's not, it's not fresh. That's not how we do it on Hits West. No, no. So listen, People always ask me, yo, Wesley, how are you so confident? How is your self-esteem so high? How do you do it? And I give them a short, like, five-minute story and stuff. But I've never told you guys. So today, we're going to be talking about ways in which you can boost your self-esteem. You ready? You ready? No, it's, it's one o'clock in the morning. I can't play them joke there. I don't know if like, there's somebody actually behind me. So watch it guys. I'm ready. Click the like button, subscribe right now, and we're about to go. Let's go. Boom! Boom. All right, number one, get rid of negative people. You don't want any negativity in your life. These people will literally impact your confidence and your self-esteem negatively because obviously that's what they do they're negative people they're toxic people these people can be your friends your family your girlfriend your boyfriend i'm saying get rid of them and i'm making it sound easy right no it's not easy i'm not saying it's easy but you have to literally figure out what is best for you these negative persons can literally pull you down spiritually emotionally mentally physically them person you're literally coming in your life for all the comments and amount is just some negative shit they're always depressing you with nothing great coming out of their mouth to, to like empower you you see them chatting somebody talking bad about somebody else or they're talking about bad about you they're not encouraging you they're not doing anything that is beneficial to your growth all they're doing is just existing always have a comment about what you're doing they're telling you how bad you're doing you need to do it like this and not like that just trying to control you no get out that's not cute number two compliments guys if you know me you know that i'm like a walking gas station right i'm not talking like farting and stuff i mean I fart a lot, but I'm not talking about farting. If you're my friend, I will guess you anywhere you are. I will literally find you and compliment you like crazy. Compliments build your confidence. When you go on the road or you're anywhere at all, you compliment somebody, check it. They feel really great. They feel amazing. They're like, oh my God, I got a compliment. Like my hair really looks good, man. Look at this now. They're happy and you are happy because they're happy their entire day was made they're probably going through shit the whole day and you brighten their smile and all of a sudden you feel amazing because you don't know what they've been through all morning but literally you're like oh my god they're smiling and they're walking away right now feeling like the queen of the world or feeling like a jenna you get me that builds your confidence it actually builds like it builds your interpersonal skills but here's the thing i live in jamaica so that, that shit's hard if you know me i will literally go up to you and compliment you and it's just because i'm I'm a nice person right i like complimenting some females in particular when you go up to them and you compliment them immediately they think you're trying to flirt with them like you're trying to get some number like you're trying to get laid what i don't know if you're like me but not every girl i talk to i'd like to be with you i don't necessarily want to know you i just want to compliment you and like walk away i love braids by the way i love long hair overall i love braids hence why i'm trying to get my, my locks in if i see somebody like having like amazing braids on the road i'd be like hey excuse me like who did you hear yo your hair looks really amazing some girls i've gotten responses like this i kid you not hey excuse me I'm not in your way though. No, 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 you're not in my way. I was trying to get your attention. Check it. Um, your hair looks really good though. Okay. Thanks. So 
sometimes it's really discouraging to even compliment a female on the road these days because like some persons have the dirtiest attitude ever like you just don't want to talk to them <sighs> okay her hair looks good keep it to yourself keep it to yourself Shh. hi your hair looks good and then get some really huge L's even as a guy in Jamaica yo you can't really compliment other guys because Jamaica is so Super homophobic. This is how guys actually react to each other when you try to compliment them. Yo, man, general, log on. Yo, man, thing good, man, thing good. Yo, how's Barbago? You know, said the one where um, up a uh, clock to all or something. Yo, man. Yeah. Yo, man. Yo, man. Them thing up, man. Yeah. Them thing up, man. Them, them, them thing good, man. Isn't me? Yo, man. Yo, man. Build up yourself. I'm general. Yo, man. Men are so weird. If you're a guy you compliment another guy, be careful. You might be considered gay. Number three, treat your body to something good. Buy some new clothes, change your hairstyle, style, work out. Treat yourself to something where you know say you love eat. Is it me? Like something nice. End result, you feel amazing. Then people will start seeing how amazing you feel about yourself. Then all of this amazingness is just gonna explode and just splatter all over your self-esteem. Ask anybody. Who come out of the gym like immediately as they come out how them feel hashtag one step closer to being thick one step closer to losing weight one step closer to fitting in that dress one step closer to feeling nice about yourself come on guys ladies when you do your hair you feel sexy the hottest thing since summer in jamaica you know say you feel well Cute. You love you. That's what matters. You take care of yourself, you treat yourself to a good hairstyle, and you feel amazing. Confident, boost. Spoil yourself to some KFC. Say you're a zinger lover, and you walk right up to the counter, and then you realize that, oh my god, I'm eating alone. And you order the food, and everything is hot and ready. Mm. The warm, soft bun, nice, tender, juicy barbecue chicken inside fresh vegetables you just sink your teeth in at that and channel star fries just done you know over salt you know tastes like cardboard the juice eat the water dumb mm, eat no water dumb mm. and then you just eat some of the fries and then wash it down with some juice mm. All right, give me a second. My apologies, guys. Hold on. <sighs> Shorts kind of got moist by all that KFC. Sorry. But yeah, when you're done and you're very full, Jano Star, you feel good. It's just something about treating yourself and you feel amazing afterwards your, your confidence your self-esteem will boost when you just take care of you think about you for a change number four don't give two shits correction don't give any at all do you have any idea how expensive giving a shit is these days Enough. Stop caring about the opinions of others. Remember those negative persons I mentioned in number one? They're so judgmental and it makes it so hard for persons to be themselves. But it's a test. Society will give you shit. But what you gonna do? Be a tissue? People will always have something to say. Always have an opinion. They have to voice their own opinion. They have to say something. Okay. Moving on, right? Good for you. I don't care. Does it make you happy? Do it. See me? I like being a YouTuber. I like vlogging in public. I like being myself in public. But if you know anything about Jamaicans, most Jamaicans can be very shallow-minded and judgmental. I have seen on many occasions where persons just look at me vlogging in public and laugh at me because I'm talking to a camera. That's normal. People have comments and opinions as to the fact that I am making videos. They think I'm wasting my time. Okay. Many persons hide their true selves mainly because they're afraid of what people will say or what people have to say. You, probably greater than Whitney Houston, but because you scared of how people think and how your opinions might affect you, you keep it in a bathroom. You can't do that. Do what makes you happy. You, you. Number five, you see me? Yo, 
This is my personal favorite. Be your biggest fan. Speak highly of yourself. Own your space. Let others know how amazing you are by telling them, hey, I'm amazing. People gonna be like, oh my god, you're so conceited. Okay. The birds are still chirping. The sky still looks blue. The place still hot be. And I'm still amazing. Where exactly is the problem here? I'm conceited. Nothing changed. People be like, Wesley, self-praise is no recommendation. Oh my god. I'm like, yeah, that's so true. Anything else? Here's how I see it. The world is a wicked, vile, and cruel cruel place. I am at about to sit down and wait until you come to me and break down my walls. Come tear me down. Come insult me. Lower my self-esteem and make me feel less of a person. Can't allow that. Instead, let me present to this world God's greatest creation, me. Let me tell you how awesome I am. Let me tell you about the amazing necessity of my breathing and then you can try. Just try. Try to destroy my mood. Just try. Let me watch you fail. I have nothing else to do anyways. Every single morning, I pass my mirror, I flirt with myself. I am my biggest fan. Every time I see myself in the mirror, mm, boy, I'm in love with my reflection. It's no secret. I love me more than anybody else. I care more about trying to build me up, trying to build my confidence level, trying to build my self-esteem. Because your self-esteem being really high can really bring you up far away. It actually makes you talk to people more, make new friends. If somebody really sees that you're trying to encourage yourself and to build yourself up and they have a problem with that, that's basically toxic energy. I'd like to love myself first before somebody else tries to love me because I'm gonna think that their love is the right love. That's not really, that's not how it goes. You get me? That's... No! Okay, so this is the end. I don't know who needed to watch this. I don't know who decided to click on this video. I'd be like, oh my God, Wesley's right. I should listen to him. But whoever you are, you need to know that you, this person, you right here. You're the most amazing person in this entire world. Once you understand that, you will go far away. You're great. I always remember that. I don't have time to know. It's like really late. I, I think I should go to my bed now. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know the drill. Like, share, subscribe, enjoy yourself. Be amazing. Be awesome. You don't know. My baby locks a girl. Hit the boy away. We done. Go ahead, babe. Join the tribe, subscribe.